A new $9 million pedestrian bridge over the Raccoon River that connects two major parks in West Des Moines is being called a game changer. KCCI senior reporter Todd Megal is live at Raccoon River Park where a groundbreaking is happening right now. Todd. Stacy, what a beautiful day here in uh, West Des Moines for a groundbreaking. Take a look behind me. You can see West Des Moines leaders. Uh, they're celebrating the new Athene Bridge. They're here in the parking lot near the Raccoon River Boathouse, but the site for the bridge is actually just a bit south of here along the bike trail. Even before the official groundbreaking, work has already begun on the massive new Athene pedestrian bridge. Crews are building the approaches that will take trail walkers, runners, and bikers up to the future bridge over the Raccoon River. We hike around here all the time, and we also hike at Browns Wood, so the connection is going to be fantastic. I mean, it should be a really neat, really beautiful connection. I think it'll be a nice addition to the nature around here, um, you know, just be able to see, um, you know, both areas and be able to connect and hop over whenever you like. Sky 8 clearly shows the best before view of the site. You can just make out the new construction area where the bridge will start at the Raccoon River Park on the north and end at Walnut Woods on the south. This is a game changer project for uh, the City of West Des Moines Parks and Recreation Department. West Des Moines and, uh, Superintendent of Parks our, Marco Alvarez says until now it was not possible for visitors to share both parks because the Raccoon River separates them. Now, as these renderings show, a bridge with a special rest spot in the middle will connect the two. A high-style bridge that's more than just a concrete path. There's elements, artistic elements, that we've worked with the designers to um, include in the bridge to make it not only functional, but also aesthetically uh, pleasing. And if all goes as planned, that new Athene bridge should be ready to go by the fall of 2024. Live in West Des Moines, Todd Magel, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.